He called. What? Last night. Now, you told me you hadn't spoken to him in years. I haven't. And I didn't speak to him last night either. It's just... East Ender's spoilers. George is reeling by a blast from the past as Cindy returns to his life prior to the massive reveal that Rose is actually Cindy Beale. George was given news by Phil, Steve McFadden, that a lady called Rose doesn't actually exist. He then phoned Rose's number which took us all the way to France and confirmation that Cindy was behind the name all along. Cindy is currently living in France with Ian, Adam Woodyatt, and Peter, now played by Thomas Law. A previous episode of the BBC One Soap saw us learn that Cindy had been undercover as Rose, but was told that she didn't need to do that anymore and could return to England if she wanted. Back in Walford, while George has put the revelation about Rose in the back of his mind, Anna has started to wonder if she could find out the truth. Both Anna and Gina, Francesca Henry, know that Rose walked out on the family but George hasn't alluded to the sisters that he knows anything else about her. Coming up, after Gina discovers that Anna stole the cash to hire a private investigator, she goes to reveal all to George, but falters before Anna lies that she left the cash on the side while cashing up and someone stole it. Once alone, Gina gives Anna an ultimatum and the next day, George realizes there's something going on between his daughters. He manages to trap Anna in her lie about the stolen money and then implores her to call off the search, saying it'll just result in her getting hurt. But with Cindy and Ian on their way to Walford, George's attempts at shutting down Anna's quest will end up being pointless when he inevitably comes face to face with his ex. Thanks for watching these videos. Please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up.